Huawei. Uh, Huawei has a level four autonomous network product. That's interesting. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Actually, uh, we have started the autonomous driving network about uh, eight years ago. Mm. Yeah, from beginning. Actually, it's uh, from from beginning we used AI for the network area, and then about three years ago we launched the the level three autonomous driving network, and which are used for many customers, especially for their education for their uh, financial industry, and. Uh, but now, uh, for this year, we released the level four autonomous driving network solution. So who's actually using them today? Mostly uh, from the enterprises. For example, for the Tsinghua University in China, uh, it's, uh, it's the, one of the best uh, universities in, in China actually. Uh, for their campus network, they're using the upper autonomous driving network system. Actually, they already use it to manage the whole uh, campus network. About uh, six, 16,000 network devices are managed, uh, are managed by our system. You mentioned China Mobile. Are they going to use it in a production network? Uh, sure, sure. And uh, actually, they're, uh, um, they're using it from this year, they're using it at uh, Guangdong province. And um, for the next year, they're going to deploy the system uh, for the whole country, and not only for Guangdong province, uh, but also for the whole, whole China. They all will use the, our system. And they are planning to achieve uh, level four for the whole network in the uh, next three years. And uh, for the next year, they are beginning to deploy it. Are there any industries where level four autonomous networking can't be used? I think finally every every industry will use it. Every finally, but it's a process. You know, from beginning maybe we just from the education, from the retail, from the uh, medical industry, and, and finally. Uh, for the financial industry. In fact, some banks are, uh, we, we have the uh, joint innovation program with, the, with some banks. I guess the big question for me is which is more important? Is it uh, the AI technology or is it having the trust of the customer to deploy it? <laughs> I think both. For the technology, actually we used AI for the network almost uh, more than 10 years. At the, at the end, at the beginning, we just uh, used uh, AI algorithms to find uh, anomaly in the networks, for, for example, for the uh, attacks for the networks. And uh, later, we used uh, uh, neural networks to, to predict the traffic of the network. And step by step, recently, we used a lot model uh, for the uh, autonomous network. Yeah. So for the, for the technology, they're moving forward. Yeah. And another side is the trust, you know. And to tell the truth, for the customers, if you tell them, oh, just, uh, you just uh, uh, trust the autonomous driving network from the beginning, it, it's, it's, it's difficult. Mm. But after you use it, after you use it, yeah, you will find it's much easier to handle the problems. You have a better experience and lower cost. And step by step, the customer will accept it. That's absolutely true. And I've been waiting for 10 years since 2014 for this moment. And you've done it. It's historic in the communications industry. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, yeah. What's the technology behind this achievement? Um, actually, there are a, lot, uh, a lot of companies are using AI 
for different industries. And even in the network area, uh, we, we, we used AI for several years. But achieving level four autonomous driving network, just used AI or used a large model, it's not enough. So actually we have three very important components for the autonomous driving network. The first component is the intelligent device, network device. Uh, not, not, not only provide more data, uh, we can control it using the new protocols. And for some situations, they, made, uh, they can uh, make decisions by their device. And, and the, the second part, we call it network digital map. Uh, we released uh, the first network digital map in their industry about uh, uh, two years before. And, and it's the network digital map actually is the uh, digital twin for the network. We all use the Google map, right? You know, <laughs> you know like, so it's, it's similar with the Google map. It's just used in the, in the network. And the third part is the uh, the, we call it the NetMaster, uh, not only use the large model. A large model is just a part of the NetMaster. Um, we use the large model and the other AI uh, models. All these models integrated together to make decisions. For, for example, uh, to generate the comparisons or to optimize the network. So all these components together, uh, we can achieve the level four autonomous driving network, uh, not just one technology. Uh, actually, it's a lot of technologies together. So Huawei's been working on autonomous networking. Why is that important? The network is, is more and more important for us. We all use the network at any time and anywhere, you know. Without network, almost you, you, you cannot do anything. If the network is done, all the services are, are also uh, will be done. So it usually takes hours to solve the problem, you know, and due to the complex, complexity of the network. So, how, how, how to solve these problems? And with the AI, we can achieve the autonomous driving network. And with the autonomous driving network, all the problem, problem can be solved automatically. Yeah. So uh, I think um, for, the, for the cars, yeah, more and more people are buying their uh, autonomous driving, it's called uh, autonomous driving cars, you know? And, and uh, for the network, uh, it's moving forward to the autonomous driving network. People have been waiting for the first live autonomous network for a long time, and you've achieved that. Congratulations.